Hey guys, good morning. It's Jason and it is St. Patrick's Day today. Happy St. Patrick's Day, everybody. This is a day steeped in tradition. And one of those traditions, of course, is drinking. Now, I get a lot of questions around this time of the year that sound somewhat like, hey, Jason, um, can I drink on St. Patrick's Day? How does that go along with my, with my meal plan, with my fitness plan? Um, you know, what's the trick to it? And, and so here, just to answer all the different types of questions surrounding drinking on St. Patrick's Day, and of course drinking in general, here's the answer. Alcohol, and I hate saying this because I love craft beer and I love single malt scotch, and that, that being said, alcohol and fitness, they don't go together. They, they, they are not peas and carrots. Uh, alcohol actually has a, it can have adverse effects, and in terms of metabolism, it, it, it really works against what you're going for typically when you're working out and following some sort of structured meal plan. Um, the body has this funny thing where when you introduce alcohol into it, uh, it stops and it goes, oh my gosh, there's alcohol here, I have to metabolize that first. And so then it shifts all its focus toward alcohol metabolization, takes it away from metabolizing other things um, that can lead to uh, fat loss and, and, and things like that. So alcohol and fitness, they do not go together. That being said, if you're gonna drink, you have to understand that, and then you have to act accordingly. So what that means is, the rule that I usually follow is moderation, okay? I, I used to drink a much more substantial amount than I do now uh, for a variety of, of uh, reasons, you know, different life changes, provoke <clears throat> different kinds of changes in, in your habits. But, you know, one of them was I got involved in fitness and I realized that alcohol can have negative effects on that, so I so I cut back. Um, greatly helped me reduce my uh, my tummy fat. Um, but I practice mo moderation. So, you know, whereas before if I would have, uh, you know, uh, a drink or two a night, I now have a drink or two a week. And, you know, it, it all averages out. There are some times where, you know, I, I'll have more and sometimes where I'll have have less. You know, if it's a thing like St. Patty's Day where if you're, uh, if, if, if you're, you know, committed to a party or some sort of event or you just know that you're going to be in a setting where there's going to be drinking and you're going to drink, I mean, be honest with, with yourself, okay? Don't try to fool yourself, but either practice moderation or if you just want to blow it out on St. Saint, Saint Patty's Day, blow it out. But have an exercise and nutrition plan in effect that you're doing before and you're doing after. Because if here's, here's the reality. If you're consistent with fitness, and by that I mean daily workouts and eating, uh, eating healthy you know, 80, 90% of the time, if you're doing that consistently, then one you know, treat meal or treat day or St. Patrick's Day, it's not gonna be the end of the world. And in fact, it might not even register as a blip on the radar if you've been consistent before and you jump right back on afterward. So, you know, it, it all depends on, on where you're at and your intensity level and your commitment to this stuff. If you're, if you're committed beforehand and you're consistent and you are gonna, you know, you've decided that you're just gonna blow it out on St. Patty's Day, then blow it out, have a wonderful time, enjoy, have a Guinness for me, and uh, then afterward, continue right back on where you were, and and you're you're not going to even feel it. Um, and otherwise, you know, like I said, practice mo moderation. Like I have Saturday nights are kind of my my treat nights, so I look forward to them all week, and I use them as motivation and incentive to really push hard all week long. And I'll you know make sure that I hit my workouts every single day, and I'll make sure that I follow my meal plan every single day. So when it gets to Saturday night, I know that when I have a martini or two, or when I have you know a bowl of ice cream, then I cannot just view it as uh, a guilty pleasure, but an actual pleasure, something that I'm enjoying and something that is actually helping me continue in my routine because. Uh, it's been incentive for me to push hard that previous week and the next week is going to be the same exact thing. So so that's kind of how it boils down. Okay, there's alcohol just works against fitness. That's the reality and we're not going to get around it. So you have to start thinking of ways to mitigate the bad stuff and the negative effects that come of it. And you can do so either by moderation or straight consistency in your fitness plans or both. And I suggest both. So guys, enjoy, enjoy yourselves. 
have some drinks, be safe, of course, always be safe, and I'll see you later, bye.